Hey guys, it's Chase Reeves. I want to show you how I blog on my Mac, my workflow, because I think that'll help you, maybe some of you, make your life a little bit easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up Scrivener. Now Scrivener is an app uh, basically built for putting together larger writing projects and things like that. Um, I kind of use one file in Scrivener for all my writings. I don't really care about keeping local versions of these things. Once I put them on the blog, that's kind of the master that I like to keep. But I keep them around for a while anyways. So um, here's like the B-Chase folder. And so here's the, here's the blog post I just recently put up. If I, so how I write in Scrivener, the reason why I use this, honestly, for more than anything else, it's for this full screen view. I just love this. As I'm writing, it uses what's called typewriter, fucking like scrolling or something. So it keeps my cursor in the middle there, which can be a little bit weird, but as I'm writing here, and then it kind of scrolls with it. If I come up here to start typing, it scrolls me down, so I'm always right in the middle there, um, which I kind of like. But most importantly, I love the... Uh, everything's blacked out. I can pull up different panes of notes and things if I want to, which I, um, I don't think I ever do. So, this is where I write. I write in Scrivener. And now you might be looking at this formatting and be like, this is kind of weird. Like, why? Um, what, are these, what are these little hashtags here? Why the two stars here? What I'm writing in is a, a sort of markup language called Markdown. It's just a really quick and dirty way to put together um, what can be easily converted into HTML. So Markdown is a language that's sort of, it's, it's easy to look at and read for a human. You can see these three things here. What that means is that when this is converted to HTML, this line is going to be put within an H3 tag. So it's going to be a heading with the third style. Um, these two asterisks on either side here indicate that this bit in between is going to be bold. Um, let's see, what else do I do? Right here, when you put one of these underscores around a word, that means it's going to be uh, italicized. Um, so it's just a really quick way to, rather than rather than selecting this word and making it under uh, uh, italics, uh, what makes that a challenge for my workflow is that then I have to somehow export this in HTML already, and from any application, it always adds all sorts of weird, you know, business to it. So what I love about Markdown is it's very simple. I can always keep this file around, and it's always human readable. I don't have a bunch of tags, HTML stuff put all over the place. It's human readable, and then what I do when it's when I'm ready to roll, when I'm ready to like say I've got my blog post done the way that I want it to, I select all, and I just copy it. Right, let's exit uh, full screen here. Then I pull up TextMate. Now TextMate for the Mac is the bomb. Uh, text application or a text editor for any sort of code thing and I mean heck if you just want to use text files this is I love I love this it has all sorts of bundles which are kind of like plugins that allow you sort of at the click of a button to do anything you could want so what I do in TextMate I open up a new file I paste that mark uh, markdown written uh, copy from Scrivener in here and I quickly go to my markdown and convert to HTML document. What that does is BAM. It take, takes all that text and turns it into HTML. You can see here this I with a, this word is I've with a with an apostrophe in between. You can see over here. I've got an idea percolating here, right? And it turns it into one of those curly uh, apostrophes, which is, you know, sexy typography and all that stuff. So Markdown quickly, easily turns all of that stuff into, turn, turns this real easy to read, um, human readable markup into HTML, which it's so easy then at that point to copy all of that, right? Then I'm going to open up Chrome or whatever browser I'm using at the time. So then I go into whatever blog application that I'm using, whether it's WordPress or Posturus right here. In this example, let's use Posturus. And I'm going to say post by web. Since I've already got beautifully executed HTML right here that TextMate converted for me, I simply paste that into here, into my HTML view. Well, what happened there? There we go. 
I paste that into there and then if I went back to the rich text you can see it's formatting it just like it should there's my italics my bold here's a numbered list so from here I mean I'm good to go that's my blog post from the beginning being written in an application that I love to write in which is Scrivener the full screen stuff the typography looks excellent you know so I'm writing here I'm sitting here and I'm in the zone just writing okay then I pull that into TextMate, quickly convert it, and in this file I literally just close and they don't save and never come back to this again, right? And then I import, or I, I paste that all as HTML straight into my blog post, click publish, and we're good to go at that point. So that's how I uh, blog on my Mac. I use Scrivener, TextMate, using the markup language, or I'm sorry, not markup language, markdown, which I'm kind of new to. Um, and then... Bada-bing!